Please don't tell me you missed out on the Tesla trade. My goodness. Subscribe to the channel. Don't let it happen to you ever again because we did discuss the Tesla put strategy just a couple of weeks ago, earlier in March when it was trading in the 330s. Check it out. Something in the morning to where it goes down maybe let's say to 334. I mean I'd pull the trigger. I'd buy those 330 puts. It opens lower or the market opens like it's hesitant. It's up or down a few points, whatever. I would buy it. I'm looking to buy these puts tomorrow. Okay, fine. I get it. You were on a hot date that day, so you missed my boring video. However, I warned you again yesterday, March 27th. Check it out. The entry, because Tesla is entering this critical level of about 295, 294. If it goes below that on high volume, we could see Tesla trade as low as 270, 250 within a very short time frame. What I mean a short time frame, within the next two weeks. Okay, so you missed on both of the announcements on both videos. This is why you should go to marketcrash.money, hit the big green button on the page and schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation because if you are a student, you will not miss out on cool trades like this. Some of my students have been able to profit to the extent of thousands of dollars either on partial move here or on the entire move. So don't let this happen to you again. And hey, here's what CNBC had to say about this after the stock dropped to 250 range today. Things are about to get much worse for shares of Tesla. Let's go to Mike in San Francisco with more. Hi, Mike. Hi there, yeah. So we did see well above average options volume in Tesla today. In fact, close to three times the average daily put volume. And the trades that interested me most were the June 200 puts. We saw over 7,500 of those trading for about 10 bucks. So buyers of those are making bets that there could be a lot more pain to come, a decline of over 20% that would be in about the next three months. And to the point you guys were just making, you know, the debt guys look at cash flow. It doesn't have any. It's negative cash flow. And the equity guys tend to look forward to earnings. It doesn't have any of that either. So, you know, when you think about it, that kind of a decline, maybe 8 to $10 billion in enterprise value would take it down to a little bit below Ford. That's an easy move, I think, from here. Wow. All right, Mike, thank you. Okay, so for those of you that are skeptics out there and don't believe that a $1,200 investment would have ended up being worth $15,000, let me show you how this breaks down. So when Tesla was trading around here, okay, the 300 puts were selling for about $4 a piece. So in the world of options, that means that uh, every option controls 100 shares. That means the cost of option you take is time 100. Basically, it's $400 for one contract. So with $1,200, you would have been able to acquire three contracts. These contracts today were worth as much as $50 each, meaning that for every contract, okay, you would take that times 100, you would have been able to cash in $5,000. You would have spent 400, you would have sold them for 5,000 each for a total on three contracts of $15,000. So that's how you turn $1,200 into $15,000 here. Now, of course, you would have missed that if you would have found that information out from CNBC. So what do you do? If you want to learn more about the world of options, if you want to find out what is the next big trade? As a matter of fact, if you want to find out what is going to happen to Tesla next, is it going to go lower? Is it going to hit 200? Is it going to hit 150? Is it going to hit 100? Well, see, the main thing is not just knowing whether it's going to do it or not, but the main thing is to know when to actually pull the trigger on these options. As you can see, for a while, Tesla has been trading sideways. And only now, after we made the announcement, a couple of weeks ago in early March, it has really taken off and hit a significant nosedive. Now, what do you do? What are the steps that you would need to take? Okay, visit marketcrash.money, hit the big green button right here, how to profit, and schedule your one on one consultation. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to learn how to trade options and read the charts and the patterns and all that good stuff in one consultation. However, we're going to be able to come up with a solid strategy. Because after all, here at marketcrash.money, we don't just want to give you the answers, okay? We want you to understand how this works. We want you to understand how to pick the stocks, how to generate the trading ideas on your own, the signs to look for, the patterns to look for, the charts, all the secret 
items that go into the recipe of being able to put together a trade like that before it hits the general media. So if you are interested in learning how to trade options, you don't have to be a day trader, but if you are, you can definitely benefit from this. If you want to be a swing trader, if you want to have a strong long-term strategy, as you can see, put options give you significantly higher returns opposed to stocks. And a lot of people misunderstand options thinking that they're risky. Well, the truth is when using options, you don't use margin, but you're able to gain access to much more expensive stocks, which typically as an individual investor, you wouldn't have access to. Stocks like Google and Amazon that only the institutional investors typically get to invest. And the stock swings in those prices are incredible. Just look what Amazon has done in the last 24 hours. It has fallen from $1,580 to 1380 that's a $200 move. Do you know what that means in the world of options? Wow, if you only understood how powerful this is. Look, the truth is, I only have very limited availability left on these one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, consultations. If you truly want to learn, if you don't want just to be given the answers, if you actually want to learn and understand and you want to become a good trader, I encourage you to take your step now and take action. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.